Hello everyone, I'm Steve Mascord. Welcome to White Lion Fever Kicks. It's the video companion to the Sydney Morning Herald set of six, which you see every Monday. Today I am at the Trail Finders Rugby Ground in London, where London Broncos are taking on Oldham. But let's get straight into our six tackles. And the first tackle is uh, involves a fellow called Wayne Bennett. He's been here in England uh, in his role as uh, national coach. While uh, Brisbane have had the bye, and he's ruffled a few feathers by saying nothing. He hasn't spoken to the press at all. The defensive effort. Oh, <laughs> there you go. It all. That's, oh, that's it. jet lag. That's jet lag. Yeah, that's jet course, lag. Of course it is. We ought to apologise to Wayne. Here's what Danny Rubin, the former head of PR of the England team, had to say about him on Twitter. Well, this is the second tackle in our set of six, but is it a tackle at all? Uh, if this hit on Corey Norman looked pretty suspicious to me. Uh, no action taken at all. Norman, oh, gee. Carter has taken him in mid-air, taken his legs from under him. Certainly could have come under the heading of dangerous. Yeah, you can't do that. A few hours later at Halliwell Jones Stadium, Ashton Sims escaped uh, with a penalty for this shot. Uh, and a similar tackle later in the match uh, got Tony Gigo in the sin bin. He swings right into it. Oh, oh that has got to be at least 10 minutes in the sin bin. Now, will he have... The confidence, Chris Campbell. And I can't remember anyone blowing a game like this. It's the hothead from Catalans, Elwa Pellissier. Uh, a wonderful try for, for the Catalans at Warrington, but an eagle eyed touch judge spotted this challenge on Kirk Gidley by Pellissier. The whole thing was ruled out and the penalty goal from Gidley won the game. Absolutely shocking performance from Elwa Pellissier. That's what you call a brain explosion. Last tackle. So the boot from Gidley again over to this left hand side. I think it's Elwha Pellissier on Gidley, who's involved in the collision. Not to watch this in slow motion. Well, well <laughs> both his feet are off the floor. Slow Chris, motion got or, There's contact got with it. the head, isn't there? That's the other thing. Well, that's it's silly play. I also want to speak about uh, a Fijian winger, but not the fellow who's uh, gone AWOL, semi rad rad roll. Brown playing the ball, that's the dry line, and then. Burgess, Keery, and their long pass taken by Rod Radra. Who wants him? You take him. He's yours. Rod Radra sprinting. Here comes Gutherson. Gutherson inside, French outside. Rod Radra says, no way. This is my try. Suliasi Vunavulu, two tries the other night for uh, Melbourne against uh, Sir George Illawarra in my hometown of Wollongong. And uh, Suliasi Vunivalu has now had the best start to a career from the point of view of try scoring at any play in Premiership history. And I did read that he's already scored more tries than Clive Churchill did in his whole career. I don't know, we'll have to Google that. I, I'm just reporting that. Don't quote me. From Croft looking for Vernon And our sixth tackle, Andrew Henderson here, the coach of uh, London Broncos. Congratulations on the win today, 56-16 over Oldham. Thank you, Steve. And um, there's a bit of mail around back home that they're going to be scaling the World Club Challenge back next year yep. to just uh, two Aussie teams coming over. Okay. Um, is that good or bad for the game here? Will it hurt the game here? What do you think? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to hurt the game at all. The reality is, is the World Club Challenge is about you know, the top teams out of both competitions play enough to, to have that right to see who the, who the best club in the world is. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that they've extended it the last the last uh, couple of years by adding a couple more teams, I think, just gives an opportunity for the British fans to, mm -hmm. to see some of the stars of the NRL and obviously gives some of those NRL players an opportunity to experience England.